Hey there, Tom with Acme Overland. I wanted to give you a van tour today. Um, we've been doing some truck tours uh, here recently and, and are going to be sending this off here in the very near future. So we figured we'd give you a quick run through of what we've done on this van. Um, it's a 23, 2023 uh, Ford Transit. It's a 148 wheelbase, all wheel drive platform. From the Ford factory, they've already done the suspension lift added wheels. It's a, kind of similar to a transit trail, but not quite a transit trail. Um, but this van is quite nice when it comes to drivability, cockpit, everything like that. Um, so the, the, the front, the cab area is a, is a pretty nice setup for the transit. Um, our additions, we can, we can start on the outside here a little bit. We've added some exterior floodlights, uh, driver passenger side. We've added a, an electric, a 12 volt uh, awning. And that's controlled by our, our control system, our electronic system. Uh, we've added a simple roof rack. It is, a, it is a modular roof rack, whereas you can kind of plug and place certain areas. Uh, uh, it surrounds things, it surrounds vents, surrounds air conditioners, um, solar panels set into it versus on top of it. So it's kind of a nice modular system where we can do and tailor a lot of things with it. Um, on the roof also is a vent, which is again controlled by our, our touchscreen system. Um, as we go around the back, this particular client wanted to add a rear tire carrier. Um, so we've added a tire carrier on the rear of this van um, with ladder, of course, to get up onto the rack if you did want to store stuff up there. So really the exterior is pretty straightforward, pretty simple, um, but just uh, pretty clean um, and, and refined, let's say, when it's all said and done. We'll swing around here. We'll jump inside and we'll, we'll give you a tour of the inside. Okay, so welcome to the interior of this van. The, um, the important features of this van really was simplicity. Um, we're not trying to do anything crazy within this van. Um, it is a matter of clean, um, simple, and, and yet very, very functional um, van. Utilitarian, sort of, but with, of course, refinement. Their, their main goals are to get outside. They're not necessarily gonna be staying in this van other than to perhaps sleep, um, and of course, dine, which we'll talk about here in just a moment. Um, the front, the cab area of the van, uh, we've left pretty much unchanged from Ford. There's a really, really nice, nice touchscreen that Ford has here. The only additional features we've added is uh, auxiliary lighting for exterior while driving. Um, we've added a fuel-fired heater underneath the passenger seat, and then we've added an additional shelf uh, overhead for, for really just more places to store stuff. Um, and really, storage is a is a big is a, is a big feature or big key of, of their needs for this van. So. Um, and then as you kind of start to kind of move back, as you pan back through the van, you'll first come to the kitchen area. Um, we've got a smaller drawer style refrigerator that still packs a ton of function in, in a small space. You also have lots of drawers, lots of cabinetry, um, and also a sink here um, with a, a bamboo cutter top. Um, quite a deep sink, but also just nice as far as you know usability and function. Uh, there's no hot water in this van. It is simply uh, room temperature or, or perhaps a van temperature. Um, overhead, we have, uh, again, more storage. So there's upper cabinets throughout the whole van. And, and really, you can get away with kind of a deep, large cabinet because uh, there is no upper upper bed here, which is which is nice for additional storage. So, um, and again, you'll see our touchscreen, which we, we utilize in all of our builds. You'll see this uh, heater uh, function, the rheostat for the heater. Um, and then just a USB, just as a, as a nice place to, in case you need to charge something uh, otherwise. So, and then again, as we move to the back of the van, really the, the, the main portion is, is seating and, and sleeping. So with this area, um, you know, it, it really doesn't need to convert into anything because it's a nice seating area through and through. Um, and it's also a very nice sleeping area. We use a five inch um, dual density foam um, cushion. And then we also have this fabric made for us, um, brings in our design, brings in our brand language, um, and, and again, really kind of highlights uh, just the, 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 the length we go to when it comes to uh, the finishes in our van. So, um, you know, with that cushion, underneath both of these cushions is, is just, a, just a really a, a large amount of storage. So on the driver's side is where the water tank is housed in here. Um, we have our, our water um, utilities underneath this one. And then in these two places, in, in these two drawer tops, we've got just deep um, kind of cavernous space for stuff. 
These will be really nice for perhaps uh, outdoor camp chairs just because of their kind of odd sizes, um, but will work well in these, in these particular cabinets here. Um, and then shifting to the other side, uh, we've got this nice table. Uh, it's on a lagoon mount, which is quite nice to kind of uh, be really modular and move us around. Um, and then on this side, we've got, again, more storage. We've got a huge um, deep space over here that is accessed actually from the back as well. So not only the top, but also the rear. So if you're in the rear of the van, this storage in the front here is accessed actually from the inside and from the forward side. So multiple ways to get into this one. This is our kind of utilities for the electrical. So your control center for 12 volt fuses, your breakers for 120, and then also breakers for solar and shore coming in and that sort of thing. And then behind it would just simply be um, inverter batteries located in here um, within that compartment. So again, we try to really maximize space and, and for this particular build, maximize space while also adding a ton of functionality with, uh, with storage. So um that is that is the quick and dirty tour of this of this van so again simplicity is key in here um some really unique features of uh, really unique fabrics materials and um yeah simplicity always is challenging just because it's simple but you still have to have some really nice finishes so um thank you for taking the tour with us uh again you can find us on the web uh, acmeoverland.com uh instagram uh facebook all those places. Uh, give us a like. Thanks.